everyone, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and we're going to take this candle holder. Yep, this is a candle holder, and we're going to turn it into a really pretty decoupage container. So, let's get started. I really love candles, and this was a Febreze candle that came in this. And so once it was done, um, I thought it would be a nice idea to keep the container and um, make something really pretty out of it. Now I have this napkin right here and it's just a small piece of that. This is all I have of this napkin and it's so pretty with that rose on it. So I thought, and it's got a little bit of writing. I don't know if you can see that. So this is all I have of it and I wanted to, I didn't want to throw it away. So I thought that it would be nice to decoupage it onto this container. So I'm going to be mixing some paint and I'll make sure I put all the supplies I use below. I do have these gems here. I'm not sure if I'm going to add the gems to this. I might add them. I'm not sure yet though. So we'll just hold those aside and I'm going to mix some paint. I want a really blush pink color for this uh, project. So I have a pink parfait from Apple Barrel and I've got just the regular Snow White, which I always use in a lot of my uh, projects. So let's see if I can mix this. So I'm just going to kind of add a little bit here, add a little bit there until I get the color that I want. So don't be afraid to mix your, your paints. Oh, and I forgot, I'm, I'm going to show you these flowers I'm going to be adding to it. Look at this. I got some roses from Dollar Tree. Got a few of these also. How pretty. Just a little bright pink. And this would make a nice gift too. And look at that. Or it could be nice sitting on a desk or a shelf. Okay, so I've got a couple of things that I'm going to be doing with those. So I'm just going to mix this up just to kind of get a very light pink color. So I may have to just keep doing this until I get the consistency that I want on here, on this. And just keep adding more to it. I'm just using my foam brush because that's all I have right now. I mean, I have other brushes, but this is all I can find right now in my craft room. So I just grab the closest thing. Sometimes you just got to get started with what you have. See, that might still be a little bit too much pink on there, but we'll see. We will see how this goes. So I'm still trying to keep the brightness because I really want that napkin to um, stand out, but I just want that little bit of pink on there. So if you ever have paint, some paint and you want to lighten it up, Whatever color you use, just add white to it. Okay, so I think I'm ready to start. It's just a little bit bright. Hopefully this will still, the color will still pop to this, but we'll see. Now I feel like I need to add just a little bit more white on here. And you know what, because I'm, I may end up doing, I'm going to be doing two coats. I'm pretty sure I'll be doing two coats. I'm going to add a little bit more. Yep, I'm going to be daring, y'all. I think this will make a nice birthday gift, Mother's Day gift. If you want to just attach something to it, you can put butterflies in your flowers also. I think that'll be pretty. All those cute Dollar Tree butterflies that they have. Okay, let's add just a little bit more white here. And these um, Apple Barrel paints are from um, Walmart, 50 cents from Walmart. Okay, now I'm ready to do it. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, this is good. So when I do projects like this, I like to add two coats. I normally just go with a plain white. But for this, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, um, I just wanted to try out that pink. So you always want to try something new. Oh, and I'm liking this. 
So I usually give it um, about, about 20 minutes to dry in between coats. And then I add another coat. So that first coat went on pretty good. And if you're wondering about this, this is actually a crafting mat that was given to me um, by one of my crafty friends, Joni L, this crafting mat right here. So apparently you can wipe it up and um, glue doesn't stick to it. You can wipe the glue up off of it and stuff too. So thank you so much, Joni L, for doing that, for sending this to me with a whole bunch of other things. She's so sweet. So many of y'all are so sweet and generous and I really appreciate you. Okay, so that's the first coat. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and then we're gonna add another coat to it. Okay, so I went ahead and I put on both coats. So I just went ahead and did the two coats in order to save time. And look how pretty that is. It's the perfect shade of pink that I wanted. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take the part of the napkin that I wanna use for this. And I'm just gonna be ripping it away from, from itself. So I gotta take that backing off, but before I take the backing off, since it's a two-ply napkin, before I take that off, I like to rip it first. So I definitely want this part right here. That's a definite. And I like that little flower right there too. And I want to put it right on this area right here. I want it to be my main centerpiece. So I'm just going to kind of rip around that flower area. And so when I'm doing decoupage, I don't want any definite lines, so I'm not cutting it with a scissor. I like that whole ripped away thing going on on there. So we'll see what happens here. And you see how that's just kind of curved. I don't want that either. So I'm just going to go ahead and rip it along here. And I'll be sure to leave a playlist for you so you can see all of my projects with like upcycled bottles. There's so much fun once you really get the hang of it. Okay, so actually this part here, let me just see. Yeah, this is the upper part here, so I might go like this way on this. Just have to kind of decide how I want to have that on there. I think that would be pretty, just like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to kind of take that off of there. And then let's see if there's any other part that I can savor. There's a really light, light blush. Uh, pink flower right around here. So I'll go ahead and take that too. I could always use that on the back part. That way it'll have something. I was just going to stick to the front, but I can I can do the back too. And I like the fact that it's kind of random um, picking pieces of the napkin out. So like that's not like a definite cut. It's got some of the words on it though, which I like. And so I'm not looking to be perfect. Like all these jagged edges, I like that. So you just have to pick out the style that you want. Okay, so I'm going to take this off too. It's very light. Let's see. Oh, this has like another piece on it. Okay, so I didn't see that before. Look at that. That's going to be a game changer. So that has another piece. So it's very light. So I've never, I don't think I've done a napkin this light before. So I'm going to be very careful with it. So that was a little bit of a surprise. Okay. So now I'm going to start putting on my Mod Podge. And so I'm just going to kind of do some even strokes, like right around the front area there. I'm just kind of going right up to the top because I want to make sure that when my napkin goes on that all the edges are placed down. And I do want this to look very consistent on here. I'm trying to just do even strokes and make sure that everything is covered 
so with Mod Podge so I don't have any bubbles underneath it. Okay, so now that I got that on there, let me show you what I'm going to do now. I'll take this piece, and I'm just going to pull that over like that. So sometimes you have a few, a few moments to just kind of pull it over if you didn't get it right. And then I'm just going to take my, this is cling wrap, and I'm just going to smooth it out with my cling wrap. Oh, and I like the way that looks. I like that blush pink under there. It looks really good. Oh, this is going to be pretty. I can already tell. I wonder if this really comes through on the camera. I mean, this is really looking nice. And so you don't really want to use your fingers like I'm doing. Don't do that. I'm just kind of smoothing it out with the saran wrap. And I'm, notice I'm going from the middle and working my way out towards the edge. Oh my goodness, look at that. And that just looks very consistent. Now you just transformed, I just transformed that candle holder into something really pretty. This would be nice to just hold some, I don't know, some kind of something in here. You know, it looks so pretty. I love that. Nice birthday gift, Mother's Day gift, yep. And so I do have one little area that's coming up. I probably didn't put enough um, Mod Podge on there. So I'm just gonna, I just put some under and just gonna smooth it out with my brush. No worries. And so I'm not really a big, um, I don't have to have like every wrinkle out of it. And a lot of my pieces do have wrinkles. But wrinkles build character. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over this with another coat um, on that. Let me just let you see what it looks like. Look how pretty that is. And I'm gonna go over it with another coat. I'm gonna go ahead and do the back part. And I'm just gonna use this light one. I'm just keeping it simple, just lightly. This is the back, so it, it's okay. It doesn't really matter. Let's see how I had this on here. Okay, that part at the top. This is such a pretty napkin, so you can always, if you only have a few pieces, you can always just kind of rip it apart. Like I only had that one little piece of napkin, I'm just ripping it apart and then applying it to where I want to apply it on the vase. That way you can spread out your artwork, basically. And I'm just imagining how this is going to look once I get my flowers and stuff in there, too. Let's see. I need a little bit more on there. I'm just going to come all the way around the side with this. That way it'll have, it'll have a nice little shine on it. I'm just going all the way up to the other side there. This is quite a relaxing craft. Just kind of those smooth um, brush brushed brush strokes <laughs> and just putting this on just like this okay get my saran wrap I love working with my hands so I have to remind myself and this is very thin so it almost looks like it just kind of blends in I hope you can see that how pretty is that who would have known my Fabrice candle container, candle holder. <laughs> Normally, I guess you could throw it out or fill it up with another candle, but I think this is a nice idea for upcycling. From trash to treasure, right? And that looks so pretty with just that, that light. Let me just show you. Look at that, just that light dusting of that blush pink from the napkin. That looks so pretty. And I'm not going to add anything else to this. I don't want anything else on that. What I'm going to do though is I want to go over it again on this other side here. And I see some spots where it doesn't have any Mod Podge on it. And so I was thinking of adding some sparkly gems to it, but you know what? I'm not going to do that. I think it's beautiful just the way it is. 
Okay, so I'm going to let this dry just for a moment. And I usually try to give it about maybe about 15 minutes just to kind of settle in. And then I could brush, use my brush strokes again over it um, to kind of give it that shine on the top too. But right now I am really loving the way this turned out already. Without the flowers, it's already lovely. Okay, so now that this is dry, I'm going to put another layer just over this. And I don't have to put a whole lot, another, um, just a, just one more layer basically of Mod Podge on here. And so I'm just going to do an even stroke and I want it to be um, somewhat of a thick layer because this is like the protection for it. And so I still have not gotten a chance to use the waterproof Mod Podge yet. So um, if anyone has used that already and you've had a lot of success with it, let me know in the comments below if you've used the waterproof one. And so even if you wanted to, you could actually use um, some, some glitter and put some glitter over it too. So I'm just kind of sealing over that layer of the napkin now. And this looks really pretty. I'm so happy with the way this turned out. And you see it's just kind of like has that um, cloudiness to it. Don't worry about that. I assure you that it is going to look really nice when it's all done. So just even strokes all the way around. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like when it's all dry. And then we're ready to add our flowers. Okay, so everything is dry on here. And look how pretty that is. I am really loving the way this looks. Okay, so now it's time to add our flowers. And so I've got some floral foam, which I always keep uh, from Dollar Tree, always well stocked up with that. And when I put the floral foam in, it's kind of like way down in there. I need it to kind of be up a little bit more. So I'm going to use these tiny pieces that I have left over. See, I never throw anything out. <laughs> I just figured I'd use it at some point. So I'm going to just hot glue these down in there because I want this to be more permanent. And you don't have to do this, just kind of giving you an idea. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one also. Put another one in there, see if that'll raise it up a little bit. Yep, and that's pretty much stuck down in there. Right, and let's see. I think that should do it. Just having those two like that should do it. It doesn't really matter because um, if it's raised up a little bit because the flowers will come up, camouflage it. Okay, and if you want to do floral foam in here, you can. It's just up to you. Okay, so now it's time for our flowers. I did have those lighter flowers, but they seemed a little bit too uh, blended in as far as this. So I'm going to use the darker ones. I'm going to use the roses. We'll see how that turns out. And these roses are from Dollar Tree. Look how pretty they are. And I'm going to keep the leaves on here because this has a little bit of a, a green leaf. So I'm going to keep that on there. So let's go ahead and start putting our flowers in here. This is the fun part for me. Now if you want, you can put some moss in there um, right along here. Um, and so to kind of as a filler if you wanted to. But you know what? I'm going to take of these and put I got a couple of these might as well just throw those in too well, this is going to look so pretty a nice gift idea from one of your friends or maybe even a pick-me-up for someone that's in the hospital all kinds of things we can do but just something to say I appreciate you 
great teacher gift idea as well. And the artificial flowers don't die, so wonderful birthday gift. I know if I came into work and someone left something like this on my desk, I would be so happy and just so appreciative. Okay, let's see if I can get this off here. They really have these labels pretty good on here. This is cute. This is a smaller rose than the other ones, but it was in the same on the same bouquet, so. I think leaving those flowers on there breaks up that pink a little bit. But you can do white flowers in here too. I think that would look nice. White roses. Oh yes, look how pretty that's coming out. Oh my goodness. Sometimes you just never know. And I know for me, I, I do a lot of projects one time, you know, like one time through. So I don't really have time to practice sometimes before I actually record it. So I'm so glad that y'all have just kind of come on this journey with me to see how it turns out because I'm just as surprised as you are. <laughs> And now we've taken a, taken a container that would normally just be thrown out and we've turned it into something really beautiful. So I'm gonna go in a little bit more with a few more flowers. There's some smaller ones in here. Use those leaves. And I, I keep the stems of these too because I can use them for something else. And sometimes I'll take another flower from another thing and kind of make my own bouquet by sticking it on here. So that's just another idea. I, I keep the stems that are cut off also. Okay, I think we are almost done here. And I hope this project inspired you because I know I love candles and so I have a lot of the, um, the candle holders in here. One more in there. Yep, stick one in there. Oh my goodness, this looks so overflowing. Look at this. Look how gorgeous that looks. Move my hand out the way so you can really see it. Look how pretty. And I'll post pictures at the end also so that you can see it. But I just absolutely love the way this turned out. Just putting a little bit of time and effort into it and enjoying the journey. So I hope you like this idea. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you in our crafty family. So I'll see you real soon. Bye.